Getting back to that deadly supermarket shooting in Boulder, Colorado, we're learning now more about the 10 people gunned down on Monday. Dylan Thomas from our sister station KCNC CBS4 in Denver joins us now. And Dylan, loved ones are remembering the lives of those gunned down in Monday's mass shooting. What are they saying? Hey, Elliot and Lauren, uh, we're here outside of the King Supers in Boulder, Colorado, where it's definitely a somber scene. Today, we are learning more about the individuals who lost their lives in this King Supers, the grocery store, a Kroger brand right here behind me on Monday afternoon. We have learned that the police officer who ran in was one of the first to die, trying to save others. Officer Tally was known as a Christian man with seven children who he leaves behind and a wife. As recently as two weeks ago, he was in the chief's office, his family receiving an award for how much he helped his loved ones learn how to do CPR, which ended up saving another person's life. We've also learned much about other people, the everyday shoppers who were here uh, when they were gunned down. One of them, a major CU sports fan, the University of Colorado, just a couple miles away from where we are today. We've also learned a little bit about the workers who died inside. One of them described as an outdoorsman, one who loved to be outside, and another woman who dyed her hair every single day and would come into the store with different types of hair, different tattoos and piercings, and she was a loving friend to all of her coworkers. Some of them saying a role model, others calling her a sister. Dylan, everything we're hearing about Boulder, Colorado, is that it's a very tight-knit community. How are people there responding to support each other and also to support the victims' families? Well, as you can see right here behind me, there are quite literally hundreds of people outside of this King Supers in Boulder. Right now, there's people putting their arms around each other, people wiping away tears, embracing one another, even as they try to social distance as much as they can. Earlier today, the governor of Colorado, who actually lives here in Boulder to this day, was on the scene paying his respects. He walked up with a bouquet of flowers, kneeled down and set them, wiping away a tear and saying a prayer right before the fence. People out here telling us some of them knew the victims, other ones did not know the victims. But in total, everyone says this is a tragic loss, something that they never expected to happen. And at the same time, they're remembering those who simply lost their lives doing something all of us do on a weekly basis, going to work, going to get food for their loved ones, or simply going to work to save others. Just so devastating. Dylan Thomas from our sister station, KCNC CBS4 in Denver. Thanks so much for your reporting tonight.